How's it going everyone? My name is Tyler. Welcome back to another video. And now in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to make a server, or not how to make a server, how to go into the server.cfg files and do the um, resources, how to fix them into a resources.cfg file, how to name your server, and how to put the tags, and how to add the vmenu in. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please drop a like if this helps you. Um, so yeah, let's get straight into it. So first, what you guys are going to do is you guys are what you want to do is you want to open up your server file which you made in the beginning when you made your server. I will make another video on how to make a 5M server. So first of all, what you got to do is you got to open up your your server file. So once you open it up, you'll have all these files in here. So what you want to do now is you want to go to CFX Server Data Master, and then this won't be in there for you, but you'll have server.cfg, which is this. So if you open that, you'll have all this. So what you're going to do now is you're going to go ahead, let me go ahead and delete it to show you guys. So it's going to look like this when you first open it. We'll go ahead and right click, hit new, and then hit text document, and then do re resources dot, whoops. Resources.cfg, and when you hit enter, it'll say, <coughs> If you change a file name extension, the file might become unusable. Yeah, and then you hit yes. It's fine. So now now you have a resources.cfg file. I'm going to go ahead and right click on it. Hit rename. Then I'm going to copy this whole thing and hit control C to copy it. And then there you go. You have that set up. Now, okay, this is called Visual Studio Code. I'll leave the link in the description if you want to go download it. It's really easy and it's really good. It helps you out. So what you're going to do now is, since you got the resources at CFG, so it's essentially these are your resources, so these are the, the things that you're going to be starting up on when you start up the game. This right here is what you'll put all of these files into, and it makes it easier and more organized. So what you're going to do now is you're going to go ahead and go from the bottom, go ahead and um, select everything, and then copy that, right click and hit copy, and then hit backspace to delete all of them. So now once you copied it, go ahead and go in your resources.cfg file. Go ahead and hit control V. Now it'll post it, it'll paste these in your resources file. Now once you want to go back to or you wanna you wanna save it first. Now go back to your server.cfg. Now you'll find these right here. So now you're gonna go back and hit rename to your resources.cfg. You're gonna hit control C to copy it. And then do E X E C and then space and then control V. Then control S to save. So now you have exec resources.cfg. So essentially this right here, exec means it's gonna copy, it's gonna use this folder to use the resources to open them up on startup. So what you're doing is you're saying, okay, the resources are in this file right here. So when the server starts up, they'll go to this file and start up all the servers or set up all the resources. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and copy all of these ensure files right here. Well, not that. Come on. So you'll click on it and all these will light up blue kind of. When we right click and hit change all occurrences. So now you're gonna hit S T A R T to make start. And then you're gonna go ahead and hit control S to save it. So now it should say start match man map manager chat spawn all that good stuff. You it should say that for you. So now you have your resources all set. Now, what you're gonna do now is you're gonna see this right here. It's going to be it's always going to be zero for you, so I'm just going to do it normally. So it's always going to be zero for you. So once you load it up, this, make sure you guys, this is in server.cfg. I'm not going to be worrying about resources. We already got that done. So once you see one, go ahead and hit backspace and then hit one again. And then control S it to save it. So now you'll be able to let clients use um, their own mod menus with plugins and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, that's basically it for the script hook. So now you want to go ahead and hit tags. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter and then do sets tags. I'm going to do it in quotes again. So when you put it in quotes, this will automatically load up and I'll do another video on how to script, but that's going to be really difficult for me because I'm not very good at it. So I have to learn it a little bit more. So set tags. So a comma sep is separating the tags. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do like I'll do, I don't know, 
custom scripts, comma, space, 100 plus cars, well, cars, comma, space, and then you're going to type, you can do your discord, discord, and then dot gg slash, you know, whatever that, I don't really care. And then there you go. That's it. Then you go ahead and hit control S to save it. So now you have your tags. So don't worry about that. So that's default. So we have our tags right here. So when we load up the server, it will say custom scripts, 100 plus custom cars, discord, and have all that good stuff on it. So these are your banner. Um, so these are basically essentially your pictures to your, um, on the other hand, pictures to your server um, on 5M. And I'll show you that real fast, actually. So if you open up 5M, it'll give it a second. So this might be a real, it might be a long video because I'm showing you guys how to install the menu as well. So it's going to be this. Well, if it's, you know, going to load. So this is what it's going to look like. So if I hit direct connect, this right here, don't worry about that. That was my old test server. But see these pictures right here? That is basically your banner. And then that's, that's your banner. So then you'll see banner connecting, which is right here. So that's when you're connecting to the game, which is basic, essentially a loading screen, which I'll teach you how to do as well. Um, so all you got to do is just, you have to find these images online. You have to put the URL to image.ping and then go down to the banner connecting. I, I get my stuff custom made by some um, developers, which is pretty cool. So you're done with that. So you got um, your banners and stuff like that done. So now we're going to go on to the host name. So this is essentially the name of the server that you're going to be creating. So this is a, um, so this is called, our server right now is called Blackline, um, <coughs> Blackline RP. So Blackline RP, I'm going to put test. Because I'm, I'm basically making a test server for my server, um, you know, just to test everything out. And then do control S. Now you have your, um, everything saved. So now you have, basically you have your key, you have your host name, you have your banners, and you have your tags. You have your client-sided scripts, and then you have your xx server.cfg, which then will word, or resources.cfg. So which will then load your um, resources up on startup. So now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making a v, we're going to be putting vmenu into our game. So now what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and I'm going to exit out of this. Make sure it's saved again. I'm going to hit control S just in case. Exit out of that. Uh, right click and hit refresh just to make sure everything's okay. Now go ahead and I'll leave the link in the description. Go ahead and download the vmenu and then open it up in RINRAR. So basically you will have this. Now, go ahead and open up your server, your server file that you already made when you were making your server. Drag these side by side so you see them so it's all organized. Go ahead and click on server, CFX server data master, go down to resources, right click on this and hit new. And then hit folder. And then type v menu exactly like this, lowercase v, m, e, n, u, just like that, and hit enter. So now you have v menu. So you have a vmenu file now. I'm not going to show you guys how to make the permissions. You can look up another YouTube video on how that because I'm not actually 100% sure how to do that. So go ahead and open up your vmenu folder. So there's going to be nothing in it. So go ahead and use your vmenu.zip. Go ahead and copy everything. Copy that. Now throw that into there. And then you're done. And then hit control S to save it. And then I'm going to go ahead and X out of the vmenu. And X out of your server. Right click. Hit refresh. And then, yeah, you should have vmenu and you should have everything installed. So, now, if I, so in your server, you'll have, when you start up your server, you'll have a server.bat, or run server, uh, where is it at, uh, starter.bat, I'm pretty, yeah, starter.bat. You'll see this, this is to start up your server. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a shortcut on my computer, on my desktop, so I'm going to go ahead and right click, and then hit create shortcut, and underneath it will say starter.bat shortcut. And then boom, that's what you have right there. So then once you go ahead and double click it, it should load up your server and then everything. And it should say, oh, 
Ooh, that's not good. He couldn't find the resource, which is fine. And then it should say welcome. And then, yeah. So now you have everything in your game. Started, free roam, scoreboard, nucleus. It has everything in there. Um, so yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, please drop a like and subscribe to my channel for more exhausting videos. So guys, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.